Why, hello, 28 subscribers. Well, actually only 27 because Patrick no longer exists. Sorry, Patrick. It's October 21st, but by the time you watch this, it will be October 22nd. And this video comes in four parts. Part 1. Where the hell have you been, man? I've been doing stuff. Yeah, but you haven't made a vlog in over a month. Yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. I, 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 things have gotten busy and I'm kind of inherently lazy, so no, I, I haven't made a vlog for a while. But I'm doing it now. I will get you caught up on what has been going on in my life for the past month. Well, probably the biggest thing that happened is that I, um, I turned 24. 21 minus 9, so 12 days ago. When you're watching this, it will be 13 days ago, but right now it's 12 days ago. I turned 24 13 days ago. It was a fairly good birthday. It, you know, it was, it was, at this point, it's just another birthday, because the next milestone is 25, and after that, it's just kind of like celebrating another decade until you die. I got some nice gifts, though. One of the gifts is this camera, which I am right now using, which, of course, was a replacement for the camera that I lost in Minneapolis. Still no word on that, by the way. One thing that I got that I really liked is this, which I am now using as my editing software, so I don't have to use Movie Maker anymore. What I really like is that it came with a DVD-making software program, which I have been having a lot of fun with. Actually, using that more than the edi editing software at the moment. Another thing I got... What's another thing I got? I got two things from my parents. Oh, right. And another thing that I got, which is always appreciated, is a $25 gift card to Barnes & Noble, which I haven't used yet, but eventually I will. And then there were my sister's gifts. First, she got me this, The Rumpelstiltskin Problem, by Vivian Van Veld, who is the same person that wrote an excellent book on Mordred of the King Arthurian legend. And anyone who has actually read uh, Rumpelstiltskin, I mean, not some dumbed-down version, but actually the original uh, Grimm Brothers version, knows that it's a really screwed-up story, and that's basically what this book is about. And she got, actually got me two books. The other book she got me was Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, which I have read and thoroughly enjoyed, despite the fact that it's basically a fluffy, romantic comedy-type story, which are not stories that I usually enjoy, but it's John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, so, you know, that's an exception to every rule. Also on my birthday weekend, I got to go to the Renaissance Festival. If you've never been to a Renaissance Festival, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of people play-acting as though they are in the Renaissance, and they have a festival and there are shops where you could buy things, and there are shows that you can see, and there are juggling acts, and so forth. Uh, and that was fun. It's always fun to go to the, to the Renaissance Festival. Um, it's really one of the more nerdy things that you can do. If you're going to a Renaissance Festival, you're a nerd. I mean, there's no getting around it. It is a convention for nerds. And so I was thinking, all of these nerds here, all of these nerds, there's got to be a few nerd fighters. I mean, they're all potential nerd fighters, but there's got to be a few nerd fighters who actually know what nerd fighter means, who know about the Vlogbrothers, and who, if I went like this, they would get a very excited look on their face and go like this back. And of course, at the Renaissance Festival, I also bought things because I had birthday money to spend for my grandparents. I bought this Irish double flute. Uh, which I won't demonstrate right now because people are sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. And then I got this. Now I have to preface this and I have to explain to anyone who doesn't know what a didgeridoo is. A didgeridoo is an Australian instrument. It's usually made from bamboo, but it can be made out of pretty much every, anything, including PVC pipe. Uh, it's about, usually about yay long. And uh, I just said yay long. Wow. Uh, and you play it by kind of kind of the same way you play a tuba by doing by doing this into the into the mouth and it makes kind of this weird noise uh, monotone type noise um, and it's usually a straight pipe. I got this, which is like a didgeridoo except wrapped around in a circle, and uh, it is called I kid you not a didgeridoo donut. I, I bought a didgeridoo donut. Mostly because I just wanted to say that I bought a didgeridoo donut. And then I got some artwork because I always 
get artwork. Um, I get one painting by this guy every year. This painting is called Midnight, and it's by an artist named L.A. Williams. And there's also another artist who has recently come to, actually it's a pair of artists who have recently come to feature stuff at the Renaissance Festival, one of whom is um, Paul. Paul. He has a last name, but um, I don't know how to pronounce it, so we'll just call him Paul. This is called Birth. Uh, he, does, he does a lot of stuff with hands. And if that painting uh, reminded you right off the bat of M.C. Escher's uh, painting Self-Portrait, then you need to look at this. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nerd, too. This one, he actually told me the story behind, uh, behind this one. Um, those of you who know M.C. Escher's painting uh, uh, Self-Portrait, uh, it's, it's just like this. It's his hand. Um, except it's holding a glass sphere and you see his reflection in it, and that's, uh, that, and that's that painting. Um, and he was inspired, actually, a little bit by that painting, and that's actually the hand from M.C. Escher's painting. It's, it's not his own hand. Um, but it's holding, of course, the, the D20, and he said that that is the reflection of his inner geek. That's how he explained his inspiration for this painting to me, so... He's a fellow nerd. It's, it's great. And then the other artist from uh, Aradani Studios is Lindsay Archer. Her name's much easier to pronounce, and I bought two paintings from her. Uh, this is called Stretching Her Wings, and she does more fantasy art, of course, and I, I love this painting. It's just, it's adorable. I'm, I'm a sucker for paintings like this. And then, of course, the other painting I bought, we see how this happened.